Kevin Bitoy and Dysphoria here. Oh, I did. Oh, <gasps> no way. Dysphoria took DD1. I know people in chat were talking about like ranking not mattering, but like Milo Mads had been DD1 for so long that I just assumed he always would be. Right. That, and now that, Dysphoria. <laughs> Yeah, like grinding on ranked, putting in the time. You know, again, yeah, I, yeah, ranked has issues. Like every ranked system has issues, right, but right. the fact is, put in work, put in time, played enough uh, to be in the number one spot. You know, like that's some yeah. commitment, dedication, yeah. and effort right there. I appreciate right. that. Like it's not, it's not the end all be all of your skill level, right? But no. it's definitely a, a, a sign and it's a factor that if you got the eighty one to get like. I don't care what, like, if you can get rank one in whatever ranking system they're using, as long as it's, like, based on playing the video game, yes. then, then, then you, you got to be pretty good, right? <laughs> oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm pointing this out, too. It, like, the ranking system doesn't reward you for fighting people of a higher rank, which is true. So that means, like, across the board, you only get five points for, like, winning, you know, in Deity. And I think maybe if you get, like, streaks, you get a few more, but I'm pretty sure it's just five is, like, your base. And so we're getting to multiple thousands of points. Uh, right. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, and we got crap like that is the reason why. The uh, nuke setups in the corner, that's going to be the first round going to this for you. Again, uh, predictions are live. So we'll have about uh, 45 seconds to get those predictions in. Um, maybe a little bit lower by the time you guys actually hear that. But yeah, go jump on those predictions. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see what Kevin Batoy's answer is going to be. Ooh, almost. Almost got himself over that. But yeah, the tip of his foot got hit. That is one of the hardest moves to like try and jump over. I think only Kunoichi, you know, with a double jump, maybe Dragonite, uh, being able to elevate herself with her DP. Oh, this is huge. He has all the time in the world to get whatever follow-up he wants. He even let his meter build uh, before that. And then here is going to be a drop combo, actually. Into another drop, yeah. The timing just slightly off on that overhead. Oh, <gasps> she used conversion. Yep, smart. Good stuff by Dysphoria. By she, I'm referring to you know launcher, obviously. Okay. Okay. That, that will save me. Oh, and then the two A. Yep. Just let me just occupy this space here. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Mm -hmm. Freaking nuts. First game going to Dysphoria. Yeah, respect. Got to, got to respect the uh, the pressure that launcher is able to put onto you now, especially in that specific spacing in the corner. You know, it's not easy, not easy to get out of. But yeah, Kevin doing his best. Yep, that that's going to be one of uh, Hitman's best options. Is the long reaching low right there, the two two M. Yeah, what what a favorable opportunity there too. That uh, Kevin went for the uh, the instant overhead and just for you mm -hmm. went for the low. And so the instant overhead just picked him up high enough to not be in the, the hitbox of the low, and then got the counter hit with it. Okay, good DP. That's mm -hmm. good DP, yeah, uh, and a good sequence from Kevin. You're taking about what is that sixty percent. Yeah, interesting interaction there. So the the grenade hitting him actually was better for him, right? Uh, because yeah, I think he might have tried to use the DP to get around the grenades um, hits, right, in its ability, but actually worked out for him better that he didn't get fully punished. That's a roll. Mm -hmm. The conversion means it's still Kevin's turn. There's no follow-up. Okay, there is a follow-up. Thank goodness uh, this four was more patient than I was. Oh, and the grenade is just enough to finish up the round. Yo, good round start by Kevin. He's going to go into a mix-up. Good DP by Dysphoria. The flamethrower into laser. Laser. Okay. Ooh, what a counter hit. I'll attach the laser onto the flamethrower. <laughs> Ask for a ransom of one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I was like, I think to make some Doctor Evil in this. this uh... I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Doctor Evil. And then like the whole, I was like, yeah, it's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see the air quotes, but you know, yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, another that, drop. That, I, I had I had to hard imply that you were doing air quotes, and I was like, I think it's Doctor Evil. <laughs> okay. Oh, again with the laser. That's gonna be enough. Dysphoria takes two games over Kevin Batoy. Um, this is a good set. Like, uh, yeah, Dysphoria's up 2-0, but I've, I've liked the back and forth within each round. Now this has been a uh, competitive. 
Oh, I love that, man. The taking off the glasses, uh, flipping them, putting them into the, the coat pocket. That is why Hitman won my award for hottest character in the game on like week two. Because um, yeah, this guy, uh, this guy's pretty awesome. Whenever the hell Spectre comes out, hopefully it's this year, uh, we will uh, we'll see about remaking that list. Good pressure here. Yep, good guard cancel. Do patience. What? That was four staggered <laughs> low folks in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit of an air reset catches it here. What? These, these, I, I almost had conversions again. These pickups are crazy. Yeah, they're cool. Very cool looking. Yeah, I like the kind of delayed guard cancel. Oh, the conversion oh. Oh, and just gets DP'd for it. Oh. I was going to say one hit would kill, but not if it's by the grenade. Yeah. Okay. Just eats another one. It's fine. Oh, that should be it. That works. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so I was like, please, please tell me that works. He had gone for that a few times, but there was no conversion, nothing uh, to keep this for you safe. And the timing was perfect from Kevin. So great stuff. Yeah. Crow just got the attempted cross green supers are hilarious. And yeah, that was the one that he needed <laughs> to win that round. That actually worked out. I'm like, yeah, like some of the previous attempts. Yeah, it's one of the few supers Aussie. in the game mm -hmm. that can be used like that. That's you know? all I was say, because I know it has a big hitbox, but I don't know like how the invincibility of projectile features work on it. But yeah, definitely a good answer into the launcher, right? Yeah, very good answer. Yeah, no, the supers in this game are ooh, good uh, tech and still isn't hit by the nuke. That was actually great stuff by Kevin. Oh, the grenade interrupts the uh, the DP. Oh, okay, oh, okay. here yeah. we go. Good damage. Dash here. Yeah. Gonna be able to close out this or like, kind of narrow down some of this life. Like, what an air to air catch. Okay. Can't eat any more grenade hits. Mm -mm. Yep. Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. All right. Speak of the devil, and he shall blow up in your face. Yep. <laughs> and they will put a grenade on your toes. <laughs> yeah, Kevin has to be careful. This is his uh, winner's life right here. If he loses this round, good guard cancel. Wow, three staggers and then the run up throw. Okay, Dysphoria throwing him back into the corner here. This is a great place for Dysphoria. Not going to have a ton of meter, but it is going to start to build up right now. Almost faked out throwing the nuke. That was uh, typically where they would have thrown the nuke, and so. That was an interesting uh, kind of fake out there. Trying to keep Kevin Batoy a little bit more patient. Oh, that's huge. Oh my gosh, this is so much damage off of the uh, the follow-up. But didn't have enough meter. Oh. Please, please, just, yeah, okay. I was like, just, just, please, take it, take it, end it, end it, get it out of here. Woo. Hit, hit, just hit any button that lets you super. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice man that was nice yeah i think they may have slightly miscalculated earlier because they, they did a move but didn't have the meter to follow up afterwards and then uh i don't think they were in like a grounded state for them to get the otg into super so luckily got the mix up right afterwards picked it up and kevin keep himself alive one two here against the sporia yep yep staving off that set point trying to keep their winner side run alive here of course, you know, I think Kevin had a pretty good loser's run last time, but it's always harder to do it from the loser's side, right? So as long as, yeah. you know, the longest you can stay. And also, you know, we talked about uh, Dysphoria being DD1. Uh, Kevin, DD36. Um, yeah. <laughs> so still still an amazingly high DD ranking. <laughs> um, For sure. To have in here. Is getting kind of, uh, just getting worked a little bit this round. It's gotta be said, okay? Yeah. Ooh. This is such a tough situation. Yeah, I was going to say. He did a great job of blocking, uh, you know. I and only was down to about half of his guard gauge. Could have afforded to block more, but it is so hard to have just unlimited patience in this matchup. With mm -hmm. it's hard, hard to see where your gap yeah. should come out. Right, the grenade blows up a lot of those gaps. Um, so yeah. Anyway, Kevin keeps himself alive, but is uh, finding it difficult to approach and get any real offense onto Dysphoria. Nice, good combo in the corner. 
The grenade once again covering almost all of the options. Oh, that's a big counter hit. He needs to make this count as much as he possibly can. Oh. It was like, a, it seemed like a drop, if not an attempted reset, reset, but then it was like another drop after that. And so really did not work out there for Kevin. He may have just given up kind of the last chance he had. However, now in Awakening, this is where Hitman comes alive. I want to say it was against a launcher last week. No, it was, was it back upon? I'm trying to remember I, who Kevin lost to last week. Um, I think they did lose to Vagabond. I had that listed on my... Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, on my list of uh, of the bots to post. Uh, yeah. Bots to post, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is it. That's yeah. it. Super okay. Staving off set point yet again it is Kevin here. Yep. Take the round. Really fighting from underneath, which is something that I, I guess technically the design of Hitman's character, you'd think that he'd be quote unquote fighting from underneath because he gets strong when he's in Awakening. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of a lot of Hitman self impose that. They want to be in Awakening as fast as possible. Right. You know? Yeah, get those so, like, on everything, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'd say something that we don't necessarily often see of like Kevin specifically. Yes, it's part of the character's design, but I, I would not consider Kevin like an underdog. But in this right. matchup, definitely mm -hmm. having to scrap and scrape uh, to compete here with Dysphoria and keep himself alive. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of times that Kevin's been on stream, they've kind of been like an all or nothing. Um, just by like the, just the the way the rounds work, it's either Kevin just like running shop on somebody, um, just mm -hmm. opening up a hitman clinic, um, or it's like in the Kevin Vagabond match, like it was a three out. Like Kevin definitely had some some fight, and it wasn't just a wash or anything, but it was definitely Vagabond right. sided. But so, so Kevin not normally um, in there coming up from from the underdog side, but. Through all that, Dysphoria is going to take it 3-1 over Kevin. So again, Kevin not out, um, just down mm -hmm. into loser side now. Um, let's see if we know who they'll be playing against yet.